Hello there and welcome to my demo playthrough for Resident Evil 8 Village The Gold Edition. Now I wanted to play this demo again because you can play in third person. Previously, like a year ago when I played this, it was only available in first person. It's a 60 minute demo, but that's plenty of time to do a couple of run throughs. Okay, so let's head to Castle Dimitrescu. As I say, I played this about a year ago in first person. So to play in third is going to be very interesting. I oh, still looks good. <laughs> Even a year later, it still looks really good. I'm playing on the PlayStation 4 Pro. And this feels really nice. Nice and smooth. Now it's only recording the video on my Pro at 30 frames a second and it can be a bit choppy on the Pro but it definitely feels really nice to play I remember that glass, that's a really, really nice bit of modelling work there I can see Ethan's hair animating there and you can see all of his jacket Yeah, it definitely feels very different, third person. Because I haven't actually bought the full game yet. I've been busy playing other games. So I was thinking to myself, well, when I do buy it, am I going to play first or third person? Because if you're sort of a resi traditionalist, you grew up playing the games, you're probably nostalgic for that third person experience where the character is more central like Chris Redfield or Jill Valentine playing as them yeah. and their character is a big part of the story and it's kind of nice to control them so controlling Ethan yeah I'm kind of this feels very resi to me much more resi than first person I still can't get my head around playing first person Resi games. I don't, it doesn't really feel like true Resi to me. A lot of people were asking for third person mode in this game. And the space feels very different to how I remember it. I think that's the thing about third person is it it feels like you're controlling the camera that's We're rotating around notes. the character whereas in first person it really feels like you are in the game it's much more immersive which of course is good for being scared it's a year ago since I played this so yeah, if you examine this ring, I think you can... Yeah, that's it. You can get that bit out of it. But I can't, rem can't remember what to do with it. Does he go in these, in these statues? No, I don't know. I remember these statues, but I can't... I don't think you can get through this door. I, I don't think so. Oh, yeah, up there. Yeah, the Duke's in here, isn't he? Oh, we meet again. Duke, why are you here? Where there's coin to be made. <clears throat> and have you found your daughter? No. If she is truly here, the lady of the castle would have kept little Rose in her private chambers, would she not? Domitresque? The very same. Why don't you take a look? Maybe I like always lucky. garlic. <laughs> I can do some of looking. <laughs> care to make a purchase? Well then, feel free to peruse. I've gotten some new stock. Okay, I'm trying to think. What did I buy before? That's a shotgun. That's exactly 5,000 what I've got. Should I buy the shotgun? 
but then I haven't got enough for shells. I'm sure I bought the shotgun before. But could you pick it up somewhere? Or did I buy it? Okay, let's just buy some bullets. I'll just buy as many bullets as I can. I think, yeah, I just used the the handgun. Uh -huh. Yeah, that'll do. Uh, yeah, I'll bet health potion. Interesting selection. I saw it, that could come in handy because I do remember it gets a bit hairy. There's like a sort of a dungeony bit. Get, there's quite a lot of enemies in there. Let's sort this other stuff. <laughs> I don't know why I'm buying those. <laughs> Maybe if I find the shotgun, they come in handy. <laughs> Please come again. Oh, the RE engine looks so good. The texturing, the lighting, the modeling. This is such a beautiful game. Yeah, it feels kind of weird controlling the camera around the character. Because I remember playing the RE2 remake and the RE3 remake and really enjoying those games as third person and thinking, yeah, I'd, I wish the new ones were third person. But then when I was playing Resident Evil 7, which is, I think, the first one I did in first person, I really enjoyed it. And I don't think I missed the third person. It, it just felt right. But then the game was built from the ground up for first person. And I think they did that because they wanted to release the game in VR as well. They wanted to make a VR version, so first person's logical thing to do. But of course, this is the same. This is built from the ground up for first person. So kind of bolting on a third person mode. I was interested to see, is it, is it going to work? I mean, can you have a game like this that works in first and third you know, just switch between the two. And then, you know, it seems to be working quite well. I mean, there's a lot of work doing all these extra animations. But yeah, it feels perfectly playable like this. And wait, wait a minute, it's a bit dark in here. <laughs> I don't remember. I don't remember there being a really dark room like this. Is this new? I can't even remember what was in here. I can't. <laughs> Maybe I've got the settings too dark or something. I don't know what I've done here. <clears throat> Did I press a light switch or something? <laughs> it's weird how he kind of holds the knife up like that. I mean, if he was running around, would you hold a knife up like that? It kind of looks a bit weird. I thought he would kind of lower it a bit. And the jacket does look a bit stiff. I thought it might deform more, you know, when he's moving around. And the way the hair animates, maybe a, a touch overdone, but I'm, I'm nitpicking. I'm totally nitpicking. But I loved, like, you can hear his voice. You hear the footsteps and the, the creaking of the doors. Oh, this feels so resi. Like, this is classic resi. In a mansion, and you've got beautiful lighting. This really reminds me of the first game, you know, like being in a mansion like this. I know it's a castle, but it's, it's, it kind of feels the same. It's got a big hallway, the same. The crackling of the fire. A 3D audio must be good on the PS5. But I think this game is definitely built for the old consoles. I mean, this this looks perfectly good on the PS4. Oh, there's a lipstick and blood in there. Someone's been drinking blood. <laughs> but everything is so ornate, isn't it? I mean... But the amount of work in modeling the texture and all this. 
I mean, do they go to a mansion like this and like scan, or digitally scan it in 3D? I mean, does this, does this staircase actually exist somewhere or is it just made up for the game? I'd like to know that. If anyone knows, <laughs> let me know. I don't think there was much in this room, if memory serves me right. I'm trying to think what I used the eye for. The sound of the wind. This is classic Resi, like there's not a lot going on, you're just walking around. Oh, you remember that was up there. Walking around, checking everything out. But it kind of builds the tension because you know there's going to be a monster somewhere. It's almost a shame to <laughs> smash those vases, they're so nice. Oh, that's it, here we go. Yeah, I remember now, yeah. Uh, interesting, it's gone back to first person here for this. I haven't cut open a man in a while. Let me string you up, slice your jugular, and just watch. That's a materialized. Dead witch oh. I don't think this gun is doing much. <laughs> Good. The more scared you are, the thicker the blood. Which way am I going? <laughs> you scared me. Although this is going to be a short run. Heal, heal, heal. Am I going the right way even? No, that's not the door. There's a door somewhere. I know there's a door somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god that is really visual I love that that is so good yes. bullets are doing nothing what is the point of this gun <laughs> is this a get through there no no oh yeah I remember that that panel doesn't even look like a door but I do remember that from before it took me a while to find it Okay, okay. Calm down, it's all calm. <laughs> Take a breather. I love the pacing though. Know, you have that action and then it goes back to this sort of calmness and classic resi. Yeah, maybe I should try defending. Like mm. But no, I definitely need the shotgun. <laughs> Ah, oh, that music. She's down here, isn't she? I remember now. She seems to have this random, <laughs> random little tunnels you can crawl through. <laughs> oh, is this a fireplace? It's a fireplace, maybe. finish this playthrough I'm just going to do a quick first person playthrough just to remind myself how it felt <coughs> those should smash shouldn't they there should be something in there <laughs> that we can't follow not sure that would be a good idea <laughs> oh yeah there's one up there I don't know why I'm shooting these because I'm not going to go and sell them. <laughs> I just feel compelled to collect them. Yeah, but the 3D space definitely feels so much different when you're in third person. You get more of a sense of the space. 
that makes any sense. It's not as immediate, it's not as in your face, but... <clears throat> it still feels good. I think if you're a bit squeamish or you're a bit scared playing these games, then playing in third person is a good idea because then you're kind of playing as the character, so it's more the, the character that's in peril that you're controlling, not you. When you're in <clears throat> first person, it definitely feels like it's like you playing. I think they're going to do a VR version of this. I don't know if it's already out yet. But I'm not sure I'd want to play that. <laughs> That'd be so scary. I skipped VR uh, for the PS4, but the PlayStation VR 2 does look very good. It's only got one wire connecting you now. Whereas before it had lots of wires and I, I didn't really, really want to bother with that. But one wire, I think I could manage that. So, yeah, I might dip my toe in VR this time around. But I haven't even got a PS5 yet, so <laughs> a bit premature. <laughs> I think it's a shame that they're saying that PlayStation VR 2 isn't compatible with the, the VR1 games, which I think is a shame. But there you go. I don't know why they couldn't do that. So this is the gold edition of the game. I don't think it's any different from what I've seen so far. Or this area isn't any different. I think the gold edition does come with the DLC and you can play as Rose and from what I've heard so far I've heard good things about it it's only a short bit of DLC I think I like playing as Rose is like three hours or something like that but it's supposed to be good like so maybe I'll hold off and buy the gold edition I think that would make sense so I can play the DLC as well I'm still playing Elden Ring at the moment. I'm still really enjoying it. And I'm playing a bit of Blasphemous as well. It's like a 8-bit style sort of 2D Souls-like Metrovania style game. <laughs> oh gosh, here we go. It's happening again. Luckily there's some yellow in that box, so I know there's something in there. Oh yeah, the pipe bomb. Yeah, I remember from before. Okay, get them in a nice little group. Oh, quick. Right, run for it. Oh, the sound is so good. What am I doing in here? I don't need a bit of herb. <laughs> okay. Whoa. I like the light coming down from above there. That is so nice. That is so nice. Okay, what's in there? Oh. Okay, so definitely need a shotgun. <laughs> These bullets are a waste of time. The sound <laughs> caused all this mess. Oh my god, shotgun shells. And I haven't got a shotgun. This is so disorientating, this bit, but I, th I think that's what makes it more scary because you're, you're like trapped and you have no uh. idea how to get out of here. <laughs> Get off me! Oh, Get off me! I need my blood. Get off me. <laughs> okay. I think I've gone the wrong way. I think this is the end. I'll have a go through here. Oh, yeah. Oh dear, that didn't end well. <laughs> okay, so yeah, that's the first run through, 22 minutes. So that was, yeah, interesting. 
So now what I'm going to do is a quick, quick run first person. So I'm just going to zip for it and just kind of remind myself how it felt. And you've got that immediacy. You, you, it really feels like it's you playing the game. You're not playing as another character. I mean, even though I am playing as Ethan, it definitely feels more like it's me in these tunnels. In this castle. Ugh. Should have used my knife. <laughs> Yeah, squeezing through here feels more claustrophobic. It definitely has a completely different feeling about it. <laughs> yeah, I'm still, I am nostalgic for third person because that feels like proper resi to me. But I must admit, first person has that immediacy, that immersion. That just works so well. Yeah, I'm leaning. I'm definitely leaning towards first person. I think I'm going to play. I think was, this game was built for first person. And. Oh, wait a minute. It's all. This is that room that's all dark. Hmm. Okay. I remember there's a lift in there. Yeah, so. I mean, playing in first or third person shouldn't have fit the lighting at all. That's weird. I don't know what's going on there. Well, the sound is done so well. You really get a feeling of the sounds being in a bigger space. Why don't I open that door? There's nothing in that door. <laughs> I just feel compelled to open these things. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run and get the money. 200. I don't think there's anything down there. And I'll buy that shotgun. Okay, there's a crystal up there. Uh, what was in here? I can't remember. Oh, more bullets. Oh, they're going to be useful, aren't they? <laughs> I suppose in the main game they're gonna they would be useful for other things, but not those vampire ladies. And, no, it's not working for them. I can't wait to find out what's through that big door. Oh, I get it. Skip that. <laughs> oh, good. Okay. I was just thinking of ways to pass the time. I need to buy a shotgun, but I need to sell me crystals and things. Um, how do I sell stuff? I'm skilled at all sorts of weapons modifications, and we'll do them for a small you... fee. Okay, so this over here, right? Okay, so I'll just sell bits oh, and bobs. I see. I didn't pick up the crimson goblet thing. I could have sold that, couldn't I? Oh, looks like I'm going to have enough anyway. Looks like all you really need to do is pick up the crystals and you get enough for a shotgun. And <laughs> Yeah. Have a wonderful adventure. I will, thank you very much. <laughs> but I'm a massive Resi fan and I you know I know I haven't picked this game up yet, but I'm so looking for, looking forward to it. I've just been so busy with other games. It's... But I did play Resi 7, uh, Resident Evil 2 and 3 remakes, sort of back to back. So after that I thought I need to take a a bit of a break and then this came out I was like no I'll play something else take a break I don't want to sort of play too much 
Resi, too much of a good thing. I do have reviews of those three games as well. I did review them. Oh. I always get disorientated in this bit, I don't know why. So the stairs are there. I haven't cut open a man. This is materializing. Oh, no, shotgun, shotgun. Slice your <laughs> Wait for it to materialize and. Taking a lie. What you got me? Which would no. you like? How's it feel? Oh, there we go. I've got a. My blood is. Pumping. Sometimes I feel like. There's certain this? points where she's gonna get you. Okay. I can't hold back any longer. <laughs> no, not that way, not that way. Where's that door? Oh, it is. This looks like a normal panel. Where it's so deceiving now. Okay. Let's <laughs> hold down the hole. Okay. Well, the shotgun definitely works. Just need to shoot her a bit sooner, I think, maybe. Okay, let's see if I can get in here and get, catch a glimpse of her. Nope. <laughs> I think they're adding her, Lady Dimitrescu, to the mercenaries mode. So people can play as her. So that'd be a bit fun. I love the proper survival horror. Like, I love this type of resi. This is what I want from resi. But it's good that they've got the mercenaries for people to want to run a gun and... And have that sort of experience. And I do like to dabble with the DLCs. See, I think I'm going to get the gold edition. The Rose DLC. People do seem to think it's pretty decent, so it's worth playing. Okay. If you don't know where to go, just keep to the left. Keep turning left. <laughs> I have that yellow paint on boxes that you can break. So many games do that. They just put a bit of paint. On, like if you want to let players know what you can interact with, just put a bit of paint on it. <laughs> okay, run to the light. Oh, what's in here? So that oh, get out, get off me. Okay, so what I'm going to do then is wait for her to materialise and then shoot her. I'd see if you can get a bit further. Maybe it's possible to get further. I can't believe shoot her at the right time. All this mess. Okay. So let's wait for her to materialise. There she is. Okay, right. Now let's see if I can get out. <laughs> oh dear. And that looks as though she's blood. back. Mm. Okay, just... Let me out! No, I don't... I think that's the end. I think... I think as soon as you press X there, it triggers her to... She's on you straight away. Okay, so yeah, that was interesting. I'd be interested to hear what other people think. You know, do you think Rizzi should be third or, or is first person the way to go? Uh, so yeah, let me know in the comments if you've got an opinion on it. And yeah, thanks for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. I certainly enjoyed going through the game again. And yeah, looking forward to buying the full game. Thanks for watching the video and 
goodbye for now.